I'm going to do a quick tutorial. I'm not the tutorial girl, but a lot of people are wanting to know how I made my little canvas book. So I'm going to show you real quickly. You need a color copier, not an inkjet. Not an inkjet. It has to be a uh, color copy. Laser. So this is a, um, or black and white laser, whatever. Uh, this happens to just be a, so I've got my material here. This is a canvas. 8x10 size canvas. You can transfer onto wood, fabric, canvas, metal, any um, hard surface. Or, because there's, you're going to have to rub the pulp off of whatever you're transferring your image onto. So obviously you're not going to want to transfer the image onto another piece of paper. So, and I would suggest printing it out on a... Um, just copy paper, not cotch stock, because you're gonna want the easeability of rubbing off the pulp. Okay, so the key is having the golden fluid matte medium. This is what you need. You'll need this. Okay, and so what I do is I print this out, and if you're gonna have text on here, um, I would reverse the text. If you're designing something in Photoshop or just taking a direct image and uh, use your uh, reverse option in whatever program you're using. Photoshop, uh, Illustrator is usually what I use. So just um, reverse the image before you print. Print it. Okay. Now here's my image. I've got it the size that I want and I'm going to reverse it so we're putting it face down because we're going to put the glue on the material. Not on the paper, but on the material. So I'm going to put my paper down. I'm going to center it where... Or you don't have to center it, just wherever you want it. So I want mine in the center. So I'm going to center my image. Let's center this pretty good. Make sure we got it. Because I want to put the registration marks on here. So I've got one here, one here, one here, and one here. The reason for this is I don't want to put the medium obviously over here because there's no pulp to rub off. So it's you know, a waste of your product. So I'm going to take my medium. I can open it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't think I screwed this up. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, you want to open up your medium. And you're just going to, you know, pour it just a little. You, what you want you want a good generous amount on there but you don't want it super saturated so just get a um, paintbrush that you don't care about and I probably should have got a bigger one but this is what I grabbed so I'm just Okay, now that we've got our medium on, I'm going to put the lid back on here, and put my image on, in between those registration marks. Get a scraper 
this just happens to be a pampered chef one. I've got a million of them. And just uh, scrape it on there and you're gonna do this just for a couple minutes. Not that long. You see how it's all um, gooing out the side? That's okay. Not a problem. We'll be painting over it. You want to do this over, you know, your craft mat or wax paper. Okay, so I'm just smoothing out, making sure I'm getting full contact with the image, the medium, and the canvas. And like I said, you can do this on just about any surface, as long as it's not probably another piece of paper. I'm not pressing real hard here. I'm just sort of making sure there's no bubbles over the image itself. Making sure we've got good contact. And you're just going to pull up a side to see if it's taking. And I'll show you if I can make sure that it's actually... Yeah. I don't actually need that part, so I'm not worried about that. Let's see if I can. Okay, we've got a good transfer. All right, let me show you how I know. All that gooeyness coming out there on the side. Um, all right, let's see here. I'm gonna pull up and you can see how it's on the canvas. That's the canvas. This is the paper, that's the canvas. It's now on the canvas. Okay. So here's what we're going to do now. I'm going to move this. Let's just do this. Now. We're just going to take this paper off. Just like this. And the magic is under there. See, I should have done a little bit slower. It's okay. I'm not too worried about that. But just for the sake of time, I've got my two kids here, so I'm just trying to hurry along. you don't like gluey hands, then you might want to wear gloves or something. But I'm kind of a hands-on kind of girl. It's probably not a project for you if you don't like gluey, messy hands. My hands were gluey for two days after I did a whole bunch of stuff like this. So, um. All right. I will probably um. Okay. So after you got the bulk of the paper off, you're just gonna start rubbing the pulp off. It's not gonna take away your image. If you um press too hard and over the same area for a long time it will start to remove that image. So you're just gonna go over your whole entire image to remove that pulp. And um, it could just depends on how big your picture is. You can see I'm rubbing and I'm not being light about it. So you just, you know, rub, 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 rub. 
Now this is a little wet still over here. You want it to kind of air dry before you start rubbing. See, it's taking away some of that image right there because it's still a little wet. I'll let it dry a little bit. I got to where I had a little too much medium on there. So we're just going to rub along here. Okay, so we're rubbing and we're just taking off this top layer. So since this was a large picture, I'm going to take a little while. But you get the idea. You just keep rubbing until you get the pulp off. And um, that's how that magic works. But you get the idea. There she is. Um, there's still some pulp on here, so it's not a clear image, but I'm not going to sit here and do it because it would take forever. And you don't want to hear my kids screaming in the background. So, this is how it works, folks. You just need your medium, fluid matte medium from Golden. Get you a paintbrush that you don't care anything about. And um, some kind of credit card, squeegee, whatever, something like this to burnish an image you want transferred has to be a laser copy and you're, uh, it's limitless what you can do. I hope this helps y'all out. Have a good time with it. I, I enjoy it. Alright, talk to y'all later. Bye.